Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today as you can clearly see I've got a queen for you in lovely presented prestige box, a nice magnetic clasp, look at that. Now this particular one is the QN010 or Quebec November 010. Now I know quite a lot of you will know which one that is but those that don't or they're new to my channel we're going to just go from the top okay so let's pop this out and look at that. Makes for a great gifting knife because it's uh, nicely presented. There she is, look at that. Let's just get this out of here, put that away. There you go. And pop this puppy out. Oh, is that not gorgeous? <laughs> it just is. Wowzy. That's actually really quite nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Okay. That lovely amber burnt caramel color. Look at that. Okay, look, do you know what? It's pretty more or less down the center. Lovely centering. Um, look at that saw cut bone. I mean, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice positive lock up. That's actually pretty good. Look at that, guys. Welcome to the Warncliffe saw cut bone. Is that not just a thing of beauty? It really is. This also comes in a barlow, guys. It comes in a canoe. I think a stockman as well. You've got some different patterns, okay? You need to go on a website and check it out. I'll put all the links below. But look at that. Is that not just an elegant carry? Just a beautiful traditional. Um, this is an exceptional price as well. Really is. Lovely elongated Warncliffe blade. Very elegant. Um, just very nice in the hand. I can get... Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Just a nice working blade. No, lovely hollow grinds. So it's gonna be a real cutter. It's uh, nice and sharp. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, absolutely gorgeous. That's gonna cut no problem at all. Oh, so good in the hand. My index finger underneath the tang there and four, yeah, full four finger, definitely 100%. Absolutely gorgeous. Any blade play? None, okay. Um, now we've got a blade, yeah, there you go. There's a blade stamp there, Queen, which is right there. Nice little half stop there. You can see it better now. And on the back, you've got uh, QN010, um, the actual blade designation or knife designation, and China. Okay, nice snap to it as well. Good stick action and a positive stop. So the blade still on this actually 448. Which, yes, it's a budget still, but it's easy to maintain, guys. It's a nice satin finish, which I particularly like um, on quite a few of my uh, traditional knives. Um, lovely, nice, positive half stop. Look at that. Bang on. Absolutely gorgeous. And that way that carries on down. Really lovely. Absolutely lovely. So on the pull on this, let's have a look. Do you know what? That's about... Five and a half, six, I'd say a six actually, a six. And that's, a, yeah, 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 it's about six, which is nice, which is wise. Not, you know what, very, very good walk and talk actually. And a good snap, uh, well, a nice snap actually. <laughs> it just is. Did you hear that? That's a nice snap, okay. So we've got brass liners here, look at that. Good half dean overall. Nice brass liners, always a sign of a good knife, okay, generally speaking. Absolutely lovely, really is. Um, let's see, it's clean inside, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's clean inside. Yeah, she definitely is clean inside. Okay, so the bolsters, you've got stainless steel bolsters, okay. Uh, double lined, as you can see, look at that there, okay. And look at those, look at those, that... Uh, well, those coverings are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? This, the saw cut bone is just gorgeous. It's very well done. It really sings. It's just really nicely done. So you've got the shield there. Look at that shield. It's nice and upright, nicely set in. It's not offset. That's a lovely shield as well. Um, so, yeah, the pins and the shield is all nickel silver. Okay. Also, on the back of this, easily, I nearly missed this. I just saw it earlier. Uh, you've got a bar uh, lanyard, which is quite nice to have, okay, if you want to put that on there. So that's nice. It's embedded. You don't really see it. I can actually, you, yes, you've got the Crescent Match Strike nail nick, but you can actually also pinch it. Look, there you go. 
and I've got big hands, which is nice to have. It's a nice option, okay? So the fit and finish of this, do you know what? It's very good. It is very good. Um, the three pins there, one slightly, slightly proud, hardly ever, hardly any, but you know, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm being pernickety a little bit, really, I suppose, but actually very good. Ergos, do you know what? Excellent. Very good in the hand. That just melts into my hand. It really does. Um, so there's no hot spots. Just gorgeous for like, you know, craft work, whatever. It, oh, is it cut out? Is it sharp out of the box, rather? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So this is really nice for detailed work. The worn cliffs, okay. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, should have done the paper first, I guess, rather. There you go. <laughs> no problem at all. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, that's sharp. And what it is, guys, it's the actual... I could have shot that a little bit. But, you know, I, I like to see how it is out of the box. But that is sharp. Okay. Um, oh, very nice knife. Very nice knife, guys. So sharp out of the box. Um, you strop that up a little bit, and it'll be a super slicer. Okay. Nice. Oopsie daisy. Uh, transitions. Yeah, good transitions overall. Um, yeah, I've just... Yeah, I can't fault it, guys. I cannot fault this knife. I really can't. What have we got for comparison? Well, we've got the, of course, we've got the um, canoe, which we done about, what, two couple of weeks ago, right? And then, of course, we've got this little puppy. <laughs> Another worn cliff. I do like a worn cliff, guys. Okay. Um, it's just what I've got on my person at the moment. Okay, there you go. All right. So, just gorgeous guys absolutely lovely okay so the dimensions this light now this the actual overall length for the knife the blade rather is about two and three quarters or seven centimeters thickness is going to be about two mil by the looks of it um let's have a look uh yeah just under two mil or point zero uh, seven nearly point zero eight of an inch okay so absolutely gorgeous um the close position is gonna be let's have a look close is three inches and five eighths which is about nine centimeters the overall length is gonna be let's have a look uh one two three four five six and a quarter of an inch okay um which is about 15 and a half centimeters so the actual weight on this god that's going to be an interesting one i'm not sure you know i'm not sure hold on let's pop this puppy out um i think god it's quite light uh 55 58 just under six, oh 50 grams that's pretty good um or 1.7 nearly 1.8 ounces okay that's pretty good guys um you don't feed it you know whack it put that in a little slip and it's just so nice. It keeps it, doesn't it? Yeah. For me, this knife is an absolute cracker. It really is. Um, if you are just getting into knives or you haven't bought a traditional before or you haven't bought a wall clip before, I would seriously, seriously suggest looking at getting one of these because if you, you know, if you did not like it uh, for some reason, then you know not to spend any more money on it. But actually, I think most people, nine out of 10, are going to love this. I really do. Um, so yeah, absolute cracker. There's no what I also like about this. There's no billboarding. There's no big double R's on here or anything like that. Less is more. Um, like love the shield. You know, it's just lovely. It's a classy carry. So my actual opinion: this is a very well made. It's a handsome, elegant design. Feels very good in hand overall. It's UK legal, of course. It is a classy carry, great weekend carry, you know. Um, it's non-threatening and exceptional value, guys. It really is, okay? So, you know, makes for a great gifting tool for a birthday, anniversary, special occasion even, even retirement. You can use this for whittling as well, not just craft work. There's lots of different things you can use a worn cliff for. So I'd highly recommend this knife. I really do. And for me, this is a very good sample. Um, I give this five stars. It's that good. So for prices and availability, see the links below. Show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, take care and stay sharp.